candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the Ondo State Governorship election, Eitayo Jagere, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission of creating problem. He said despite the hitches, he would win. The smart card reader could not read his card, but after 10 minutes, Jagere and his wife voted at about 11.10 a.m. after the machine was rectified. Speaking to newsmen after voting, he accused Einek of creating a problem, saying the commission should be asked why the card reader stopped functioning when it was his turn to vote. Amadine Uyi, senior correspondent, Plus TV Africa, joined us live from Ondo State. Thanks, uh, Uyi, for joining us. Thank you, Aneta. Can you bring us up to speed on the collation in Ondo State? Okay, as of uh, around 2 a.m. Uh, yesterday night, about 12 local government areas had already been released by Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Uh, the collision is expected to resume by 9 a.m. this morning. Already from the results, uh, the All Progressives Congress is already leading. Or the, the figures I have says that the APC is, uh, is leading with, uh, I think, uh, let me check, the, the, the total votes, votes already out so far, the APC has about 178,824 votes, while the People's Democratic Party has about 141,083 votes. The Zenit Labour Party is trailing far behind with 39,559 votes. I know some people will be thinking that, wow, the margin between the APC and the PDP is very large, which is almost about 30-something thousand. But, but, I don't, it, 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 Ondo is a very large state. We still have about six local governments left. Uh, so we cannot say it is over until it is over. Indeed, Amadine. And how about the Riverine communities? Are we likely to have, uh, you know, the results from Riverine communities by uh, 9 a.m. resumption time? Uh, I, I don't think they will all be present by 9 a.m. Remember, if we, if we recall the Edo experience, we had almost the same number of local governments with about one local government that had a very large riverine community that was of their southwest. That didn't come till uh, much later, till around 12, 1 in the afternoon. But for Undo, Undo has a larger riverine community and has more local government areas uh, that uh, for, that have a uh, large riverine communities. So I think uh, the riverine communities are usually the last votes that will come in because if you recall that they have to collate after their own collation at the uh, units and what they have to now start uh, crossing the river, uh, which also still takes time. Remember that uh, when they were taking the materials, there was a boat with half. So now the INEC officials will be much, much, much more careful and uh, they will not want to take anything for granted but be that as it may we still believe that the riverine communities will come in by midday today and uh, what's the general mood in the state especially the state capital akure where you are presently you you heard uh, the people talk about the election being free and fair yes there were the, the observer groups talked about vote buying, but one thing we noticed when we came into town trying to speak to a lot of people on ground was that there was freedom to support your candidate and there was no fear to declare publicly that you are for this candidate or for that candidate. So to a large extent, we give it to the state government uh, because if the state government does not create that atmosphere where people are, they are able to express their views, even expressing support for the opposition. So the mood uh, is mixed, although the, uh, Korea is a very big town, very mixed. The, the, the APC candidates are definitely jubilating. The APC supporters and party faithful are definitely jubilating right now, hoping that their lead will be maintained to the end of the coalition process. All right, but the I'm PDP uh, supporters know that it is not yet Uhuru till the last local government is announced by Aina.
Indeed, and we'll be uh, staying tuned for all our updates uh, from you and on those states.